I'm in Shetland, a group of tiny islands north of Scotland with only about 23,000 residents. And yet, the land here gives off more carbon dioxide than 70,000 cars emit in a year. Let me explain why. These peatlands act as massive carbon sinks when preserved, but when damaged, they do the opposite, releasing large amounts of CO2 and globally contributing to almost 5% of emissions. This is a big problem for Shetland, which is targeting net zero emissions by 2045. So what are the Scottish Government and Shetlanders doing about it? So a Scottish Government funding for the Peatland Action Project and we want to restore the peatlands in order to start locking in all that CO2 that's being emitted at the moment. But these projects come with some challenges. I spoke to farmers who had concerns, like what the impact will be on their flocks and income. It's not just in Shetland either. Peatland protection and restoration is facing challenges worldwide, and very few nations include peatlands in their climate plans. Will government step up and protect peat? Read my full story to find out more.